Have you tried to use action cues in StreamerBot and felt like they're not quite doing what you want them to do? Maybe you've noticed the option but didn't really know what it does, so you've left it alone. Action cues can be an instrumental part of your StreamerBot setup once you understand them, so let me try to help shed some light on the subject a bit with this video. The basic gist of cues in StreamerBot is to make it so that specific actions or groups of actions will get clustered together. There are two types of cues, blocking and non-blocking. What a blocking queue does is fairly straightforward. It makes it so that each action that gets queued up has to wait for the previous one to finish before it fires. We'll get back to some of the nuances of and common problems with blocking queues later. But what is the purpose of a non-blocking queue? It's not clear at first, since actions in a non-blocking queue can pretty much all fire at the same time. But once you realize that a queue can be paused and resumed and even cleared, then it makes a little bit more sense. Here's an example. Say you have a bunch of sound alert type actions. You put them all in a queue together. You can then make a separate action to pause the queue. So you can hit a button or run a command so that the whole queue of actions get paused until you're ready to, for the chaos to resume. You can do this by making an action. In under sub actions, you want to go to actions and then set action queue pause state. You can have it pause or resume. You can also have it automatically clear that queue when you pause or resume. Alternatively, you can go right into action queues and pause or resume or clear a queue right from the menu. The most common use of queues, however, is gonna be the blocking queue. So let's work on setting one up. We'll use the example of making a blocking queue for all your follow and subscription alerts so that they don't steamroll each other and each new alert gets its proper recognition. Say after a raid or something when you get a bunch of follows or during a hype train when you're receiving some generosity from your community. It's a lovely problem to have, but it does happen. So let's solve it. If you go to the action queues tab and click queues, you'll see a list of queues here if you have any already created and you can click add to create a new queue. The only two options here are to give it a name and whether or not to make it a blocking queue. We'll call our queue Twitch Alerts and make it a blocking queue by checking the box. I've already got this set up. Now we can go assign any number of our actions to this queue. You can do this either by right clicking the action in the list and choosing the appropriate queue or by opening up the action and choosing the queue from the drop down here. In either case, you'll now see the queue show up in the list of actions, so you can keep track of which actions are in which queue. You'll see I already have actions set up for new follower, new sub, first chatter, first word, gift bomb, gift sub, cheers, and I've added them all to this blocking queue. This gets us most of the way there to making sure that these alerts don't run on top of each other. But there's one finer point to discuss that seems to trip people up sometimes. A common thing to do for these kind of alerts, especially if you've converted your alerts over from stream elements, is to display a gif and also play a sound effect. That's easy enough to set up in StreamerBot, but especially with long running sounds, it seems like even with the blocking queue, the sounds end up overlapping each other sometimes. This is because as soon as StreamerBot tells OBS to show that GIF and starts playing the sound, that action is done as far as the bot is concerned, and the next one can fire. Meanwhile, the sound file is only two seconds into its 15 second play, and the next action is already running and a new sound is starting. How do we solve this? Well, there are two ways, depending on how you have things set up. When playing a sound, you can make sure to check the finish playing before continuing checkbox so that the action automatically waits for the sound to finish before being done. Or if you're showing and hiding an OBS media source, make sure to put in an appropriate amount of delay after displaying the source. This way the action will wait until the video or GIF is done playing and then hide that media source before being done. This delay will most importantly prevent the next action in your blocking queue from firing until this one is actually done. That makes sense? I hope this helps you understand and better leverage this powerful but frequently underutilized tool within StreamerBot. Please let me know in the comments if you have any further questions about these action cues, and don't forget to like this video and share it with your other streamer friends. Now, go check out this video about how to manage ads effectively in your stream with StreamerBot.